Want to add audio to your videos, fully automated and without touching a single editing tool? In this video, I'll show you exactly how to do that using Bookly.com's Add Audio to a Video feature. We use Make.com as our automation platform, and the Bookly app handles the audio-video merge behind the scenes. This setup is ideal for creators looking to enhance content like reels, product demos, tutorials, or short clips with music. Let's jump in and build the automation together. In this example, we keep things simple by storing all input data in a Google Sheet, but feel free to use any source that works with make.com. First, create a new sheet in your Google Drive with five columns, title, volume, video URL, audio URL, and bookily URL. Here's what each column is for. Title is the name of your final video. We'll send it to bookily.com as the video name. Volume lets you control how loud the background music should be. The value represents the percentage of the original audio volume, so 100 means full volume, 50 is half volume, and so on. Video URL should contain a public, downloadable link to your video file. Audio URL is the link to your background music or soundtrack. Bookily URL is where we'll store the link to the final video after Bookily has processed it. In Make.com, start by selecting the Google Sheets app and use the Watch New Rows module. This module monitors your sheet and triggers the automation whenever a new row is added. Choose the spreadsheet and the sheet name you just created. Set Table Contains Headers to Yes and limit the number of results to 1. When prompted to choose where to start, go with the All option. Next, select the Bookly app and choose the Add Audio to a Video module. For the video name, map the title column from your sheet. Then connect the video and audio URL values from the respective columns. I won't mute the video because it contains a voiceover that should remain audible. If your video contains audio that should be muted, just set Mute to Yes. Set Trim to Yes if your audio is longer than the video. Finally, map the volume value from your sheet to control how loud the background music should be. After sending everything to Bookily.com, we'll wait for the final video to be rendered. Add the Bookily module, wait for video generation, and pass the video ID from the previous step. This pauses the automation until Bookily has finished processing. Now let's update the original sheet with the finished video link. Add the Google Sheets app again and choose the Update a Row module. Select your spreadsheet and sheet name. Insert the row number from the first Google Sheets module into the row number input field. Map the final video URL from Bookily to the Bookily URL column. After that, click Auto Align and save the scenario. Time to test your setup. Add a new row to your Google Sheet with a title, a volume value, a video link, and an audio link. In this example, I'm reusing media from my previous YouTube videos. Bookily.com makes it easy to reuse outputs across different workflows. Go to make.com and click run once to see it in action. As soon as the scenario is finished, you'll see that the automation wrote the Bookoli URL back to the Google Sheet. You can preview the result directly using the link in your Google Sheet. But let's view the rendered video inside Bookoli. Head over to bookoli.com, open the videos section and click on the new video we just created. There you'll find all the video and audio details, including duration and the audio track that was added. Now, let's hit play and see how it turned out. You know what I love most about my white poodle? When I'm sad, she curls up right next to me like she knows. It's like having a fluffy little best friend who just gets you. Artlist.io And that's it. You've just automated the process of adding background music to a video using bookily.com and make.com. This method is a time saver for building content that feels polished and professional without ever opening a video editor. In the next video, I'll show you how to mute videos entirely, which is helpful for repurposing content or creating silent versions for looping. If this video helped, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and share it with someone who creates content at scale. Thanks for watching.